Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I preach at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me today as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. hope that all is doing well. Today we are in Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3. I'm going to start in verse 16 and read through verse 18. Galatians 3, verses 16 through 18. It says, Now the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He does not say, and to seeds, as referring to many, but rather to one, and to your seed, that is, Christ. And what I am saying is this, the law which came 430 years later does not invalidate a covenant previously ratified by God, so as to abolish the promise. For if the inheritance is by law, it no longer by promise. But God has granted it to Abraham through promise. And again, you, you, understanding Paul is speaking because the the difficulty during this time of the Jews and Gentiles and uh, the struggle to accept that, that God is welcoming all with many people at this point. But, you know, wonderful point as we look to this is that it was a promise that God made and he fulfilled, right? A promise that, that all would be blessed, all nations would be blessed through his seed, through Christ. And so that's what it brings out here is that, again, it wasn't according to the law that this promise was made, but rather it was a promise made. The law was made afterwards. If you read a little further, it starts to get into why then the law in verse 19. And so... So that explanation is there later, but the promise was made before it. And so it was according to promise that Jesus came down and died for us, that, that all nations are blessed, that all would be welcomed into the Lord's kingdom. And so it's just a, a you know a thing to, to remember that it wasn't something that, that was in the law that stated Jesus would come, but, but a promise that God had made and a promise that God fulfilled for us. It's just a... You know, we think about that, just the fact that it was 430 years before the law, but many more years before Christ came and many more years before you and I today, but it's still according to that promise that, that we have the opportunity of salvation, that we have the opportunity, the, the reason we can have hope uh, for a home in heaven is that God first, you know, set these things in plans and then he made that promise to Abraham and then he fulfilled these things and continued to prophesy about them through the law and through the prophets. Um, and then he sent his son and just, uh, all that, that God had done in the course of time so that you and I could have hope so that we could have faith and that we can have that home in heaven. So let us uh, take advantage of that. Let's, take, let's, let's be willing to obey him and seek his forgiveness so that we can one day have that home in heaven. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope everybody has a blessed day. The Lord's willing. I'll talk to you later.